Okay, I'm out front of this Amy place and just wanna give you a view of the street. Um, this is looking north down Amy. Um, you might wanna uh, to do like a street view, but most of the places along here are newer, um, but there is a, a pretty big trailer park there on the south side of the street, which I imagine it probably won't be there a heck of a lot longer, but it, it is there. Um, but there's been a lot of new builds down this street and as you get further down this way, um, there's a couple older places still, but anyhow, this is the place. I'm just gonna give you a quick view of the side on 2247, because it's not open yet. Um, it's got vinyl siding, um, and yeah, the roof, I don't think it is brand new, but it doesn't look like it's in bad shape. Uh, there's gutters around the front, a uh, little grassy area up here, obviously. And then uh, this is the open side, 2245. And entrance is here just to the right of the garage. There's a little bit of grass up front. Um, I don't know how much of a backyard there is. I didn't see an obvious I'll walk around over here. I walked through the house a minute ago and there wasn't really obvious access uh, from inside. Um, and while I'm here, uh, there's your condenser. Um, the furnace was installed in 2005, so I'm guessing that the, the AC is probably the same age. So, oh, there we go. Okay. So, backyard. Yeah, there's not access directly from the house, and so you'd have to go around the side to get to the backyard. Um, but, yeah, a little backyard space, just for reference. It's probably like 25 feet from the house to the fence. And then from, um, I'm backed up to the fence here, it's probably about 35 feet that other direction. So a decent amount of grass over here, but there's not really any living space. Uh, heading back in. So, you walk into the house, you are in sort of a great room. Uh, this room is probably about 12 feet wide. And you've got your living room right over here. Uh, this living space is about 12 by 15, probably. And if I turn to the left, you've got your kitchen and a dining space. It's all just kind of open, so it's not, I mean, the dining space isn't terribly defined. But uh, yeah, there's room there for a little table and, uh, and your kitchen. So I'm just gonna start over here. Uh, I'll come back to the kitchen, but the access to the garage is right here. So let's start there. Um, pretty basic garage. There's a little bit of room on the sides for storage if you wanted to add some shelving or something. Um, there's a little loop right here in the corner for a water softener if anybody wanted to do that. Um, garage door opener. I uh, checked out the panel and it's a 100 amp panel. And then you've got a gas furnace and a gas water heater back here. Um, the furnace installed in 2005, so it's about 16 years old. The water heater uh, it's got a blanket on it, so I can't tell you how old it is. I can just I can tell it's not brand new. Um, so anyhow, there is that. And then when you walk back into the house here, um, immediately to the left, there's a little closet for a washer and dryer. Uh, and then you've got your kitchen. So not a ton of counter space here, but um, we've got looks like new white appliances. Um, the countertops all look new. Cabinets are probably original. They've just been painted, but they look like they're in good physical shape. Um, it's a pretty cozy kitchen, but there's a little breakfast bar over here and a little bit of workspace above the dishwasher there. Um, and then beyond that, throughout the house is all this laminate flooring. I mean, yeah, it's laminate. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, everything is freshly painted. Um, the flooring's all new, pretty durable stuff for a rental. Um, so that's all good. Um, and if you walk through this hall, there's just a little closet here to the left, a little linen closet. And we've got a thermostat here to the right. But anyhow, um, when I come to this hall, if I turn left, the master is right through here. And then there are two other bedrooms and a bath down this hall. So I'll start down this way. Um, just another bigger linen closet on this side of the hall. Access to your crawl there. And then immediately to my left, you've got one bedroom. In this room, it's about 10 by 10. Closet back in the corner, pretty simple. And the window overlooking the, the backyard. Um, and then if I come back through here, you've got your hall bath. And the bathroom is about five feet wide by probably 
10. Um, one piece fiberglass surround, new toilet, and then the vanity is basically the same as the kitchen. It's got a new countertop on it, but I, I'm sure that's an original vanity that's been painted, but it all, it looks new, shiny, good shape. And then there's another bedroom back through this nook, and it's about the same size as the other one, 10 by 10-ish. Uh, window overlook in the backyard, and you've got your closet. And heading back over to the master, uh, you've got a little closet right when you walk in here, just with some shelving in it. And then uh, there's like a his and hers closet here built in. Um, this room's bigger. I would say it's probably 12 by, maybe 12 by 14, something like that. This is a queen bed, just for your reference. Uh, and then this window overlooking the back. I, I mean, if I were living here, I would love for that to be a door and maybe there'd be a little patio out there so there was some kind of access to the backyard. But uh, as a rental, it's probably not that big of a deal. Um, and then your master bath is right through here. So bathroom here is about five feet wide by eight. Um, you've got a, an oversized shower here, which is, it's about four by three feet. And a, a nice new clean glass door, obviously your toilet, and then a four foot vanity. Um, same, same deal as before. I think it's an original vanity that's been painted, but uh, it feels nice and new and crisp in here, clean. Um, I can't walk through the other unit, but the listing said that the other unit's being done exactly as this one and will be so before close. So anyhow, there you go.